to lecture number one, Understanding Value Education. So when we are looking at what is value education, students will be asking this kind of question. What is value education and um, why do I need uh, to have this uh, and so on. You know. So there will be many questions. So this is the initial lecture and it is particularly meant for uh, the faculty members more than the students. But it is important that we have a clarity about what is value education, what is the need of it, what are the contents, what are the guidelines, you know, all that. So let's see, let's start with value. What is the value of a, any particular unit? So what is written over here is value of a unit is its particip participation in the larger order. And as a very uh, trivial example, we can take the value of a piece of chalk. So you can find out that if a chalk writes properly on the blackboard, it is valuable. And if a chalk doesn't do that, it maybe scratches the blackboard, uh, it is not valuable. Can you see that? So value is as simple as how it participates in the larger order. The context is always the larger order. And the value of any unit does not change with time, doesn't change with place. So a piece of chalk can write, you know, some thousand words or something. And that's all it can do, whether it is priced at, uh, you know, uh, 10 paisa or one rupee or five rupees. The value of that chalk is that it is able to write or help us to write so many uh, words. So can you see that? Now we can, you know, take uh, an example. What is the value of water? What is the value of water vis-a-vis -vis quenching your thirst? So we can find out uh, whether it is a, you know, uh, water from the tap, water from a lake, water in a bottle. Uh, if it quenches your thirst, it is valuable. And a certain quantity of water is going to satisfy your thirst of a certain order. So it is, you can find out whether it is valuable or not, number one, and whether the value remains the same over time. Does it remain same in different, different places? Whether you are thirsty in um, Kerala or you're thirsty in Uttar Pradesh, uh, it will still quench your thirst. Does it remain the same? And is it same for various people, different, different people? So let's see if any observations are there on this. On the value of water. Yes, uh, Professor Nachiketa. Uh, so I think value and price are two different things because the same water, when water is available at a particular place will have no, no price and uh, in the desert or in some area, the same water will fetch a larger price. So I think uh, value and price are two different things, isn't it, sir? Very true. Value and price are two different things. Very true. What has been mentioned about value is at these points. But price, it may change over time. It may change in different places, like you're rightly mentioning. Yes. 
Yes, Dr. Geeta. Ji, namaste, ji. Namaste, namaste. Uh, ji, we also find the quality of water. What about the quality of water it plays, ji? Sometimes the water gets polluted, that it is not in a state to, to drink. So what is the role of quality in the value of water, ji? Uh, so you will have something which you call water, and there will be something else which you call polluted water. Mm -hmm. So only this one is water. Mm -hmm. This one is not water. Mm -hmm. So this, whatever it is, you know, plus some minerals or something, something, you know, all that, what you are calling water. Mm -hmm has a certain quality, which doesn't change. Mm. This doesn't change. Mm -hmm. But certainly, if you have you know, many things added to that water, it becomes polluted, then it is not water anymore. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah, okay, okay. Gee, in that case, if you take seawater, by nature itself, it is salty, and it is not in a yeah. Form to drink. Yeah, so it is not equal to this. Sea water is something different from, you know, you call this water, you call this sea water. Mm -hmm. You call something else polluted water. Mm -hmm. We are talking about this. Mm -hmm. This has a fixed value. These things will not have that kind of value. Sea water may have some other value for something else, but for mm -hmm. quenching thirst, it might not work. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Okay. So we need not uh, quantify with the quality of water. No, we will have a specific label for that quality of water. Mm -hmm. So this will have a, a, a particular quality. Mm -hmm like that. So it will certainly have a definite quality. It will have a definite uh, uh, value. It will have a definite role to play. So in this case, we are looking at two units. One unit is water and another unit is the body of a human being. Mm. Okay. So this water has some role to play in the body, vis-a-vis -vis quenching the thirst. Mm. So that's what we are talking about. Similarly, you can say water vis-a-vis -vis extinguishing a fire. Mm. Right. There, this water will also work, this water will also work, this water will also work. Mm -hmm. So this is the larger unit. Right. So if we are talking about the, the uh, relationship between one unit, which we are calling water or polluted water or sea water, mm -hmm. right. this is unit one, mm. unit one, and this is unit two, or mm. this is unit two. Right. Okay. Thank you, Ji. Got it cleared. Yeah. So like that, you can find out, you know, for any, uh, any, this thing. Yeah. One last question I'll take from Mr. Ramesh. Good morning, Ji. Good morning. Good morning, Ramesh. Ji. Yeah. Uh, I feel that uh, the value is, it is not definite. It, it is like uh, the person who seek it in abandoned. Say, if it is for uh, agriculture, if it is someone uh, feeling very uh, hard uh, during uh, uh, the very hard climate, he just seek uh, some even uh, few amount of water, whatever it is. He he is willing to pay so much of money when it is uh, really needed. When it is uh, 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 what in in some kind of emergency situation, the value is felt as extremely high. At some time, we don't even know the value of water when it is available in aban abandoned. I feel that if it is. It is based on uh, like just like a demand and supply. 
and uh, obviously it is not same for uh, different persons people used to value the water uh, more in in this case the example of water they value it more when it is available in less they they didn't they, they won't understand the value when it is available in abundant when it is available in huge just my opinion yeah yeah that is that is perfectly fine uh, as far as the price is concerned if you are confusing value with price then what you are saying is true yeah yeah okay 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 <laughs> yeah. you might be teaching economics you know so yeah there okay. there this is this is uh, the idea that value and price is the same thing and you try to yeah. draw the maximum uh, uh, money out of it like that you know so yeah but if you look at the value vis a vis the a particular unit try to explore and see whether it is same or different okay, okay. So if you have if you have hunger for you know two chapatis yeah right each chapati has a certain value you can't uh, and suppose you get you know 10 chapatis for the same price you are not going to consume all of them definitely you, so they have a particular value but keep exploring that that is for us to look into yeah okay yes thank you nice. Nice. now what we are talking about is the value of human being so what is the value of a human being and what are human values this is what we are trying to explore so if you take an example your participation in the family defines your value in the family so you can find out you know for other family members for yourself what is valuable feeling of respect or disrespect so you can easily see that it is feeling of respect and this is very important that when you have that feeling when you have that value you feel happy and when you exchange that value or you express that value the other also feels happy this is very interesting so living in accordance with human values leads to mutual happiness in human human relationship so you can explore this question here you know do you feel happy when you have this value of respect i'll i'll change this word to value is this true for you you can answer in the chat or if your mic is on you can share the mic uh good morning sir uh, i want yeah. to say something about it uh, yeah. now i must say that uh, value uh, education is not merely it is an academic exercise uh, so it aims basically in transformation of our consciousness and See, we are talking about a lot of big things right let's stick with the point that is being made right now okay yes uh, so i for think... example are you are you able to see that you feel happy when you have a feeling of respect yes yes. No? yes 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 so this is something of value and similarly are you able to see that when you express this feeling of respect to the other person yes do they also feel happy obviously they they feel they feel happy in yeah. all dimensions yes yeah. in thought in work in yeah. realization in every aspects yeah so i mean those are big big words but let us take take you know simple conclusions and then see whether this is true or not so the conclusion here is living in accordance with human values what is valuable for a human beings 
it leads to the happiness of that individual and it also leads to the happiness in other individuals. So is this conclusion something which you can see for yourself? Jibaya, yeah. I can see this conclusion. Yeah. So this is a very important conclusion. And this is another conclusion that in the case of human rest of nature interaction, not this, this part. Living in accordance with human values leads to mutual prosperity. So if I am living, if I have skills which are, you know, for production, some pro producing something, and they are nature friendly, and it leads to, if, if I am working with skills which are nature friendly, and interacting with the rest of nature, do I feel happy? Do I feel prosperous? Yes, Bhaiya. And is it leading to the prosperity of the rest of nature also? Yes, Bhaiya. Yeah. So, First, yeah. Uh, Bhaiya, because uh, when I understand this mutuality, I don't exploit any resources of nature. So there is enough for me and also for others. Exactly. So from this, we can see that for a human being, it is essential to understand human values for their own happiness, for their own prosperity, and also for the happiness and prosperity of others. This is very important that as an individual, I have to understand. If I don't understand, I'm not able to live like that. So you can try to find out whether you can live with this feeling of respect without understanding respect. And similarly for all other values. So it's very important and essential for human being to understand their value to understand their participation, to understand you know, their role vis-a-vis -vis every other unit, be it a human being or be it any other unit in the rest of nature. If they understand, then two things happen. One is they have this feeling of happiness and prosperity. And it leads to the happiness of the other human being and prosperity of the rest of nature. So for that, we have to understand. And that is the need for human value. And you can see all this, you know, that uh, as a human being, my value for myself is to ensure this harmony within and health in the body. And my value in the family is to ensure the feeling of relationship and the feeling of prosperity in the family. Like that, we have you know, specific uh, uh, value at each of our levels of living, right? So we have to understand these things to be able to live with fulfillment at each of these levels. So if I don't understand myself, it is very difficult to live uh, with happiness or fulfillment myself. And similarly, if I don't understand understand the, the feelings in the family. I may not be able to fulfill that and so on. So to live with happiness, human beings have to understand human values. That is, they have to understand their participation, their role, their uh, purpose in the larger order. And without understanding the human values. They may assume something about it, about their purpose and so on. 
and it may not lead to their own fulfillment and it may not lead to the fulfillment of the other also. So this is one important point that we have to understand what is of value and uh, live like that. And without understanding, we are not able to live like that. We, if we have, you know, at the bottom left hand side, without understanding, can you see this, that without understanding the human values, can you see this, that without understanding human values, we are not able to live with human values without understanding respect, without understanding. Particularly, we can see the problems in the family, isn't it? So let's see if there are any comments on this. Yeah, so uh, let's take... Uh, um, Professor Jayanta. Sir. Yes. Sir, good, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Sir, actually, yes, sir. The uh, value in the family is very much important, sir, because participation and uh, to understand everybody is sir so much important, sir. Yeah, are you able to see that without understanding that uh, feeling in the uh, relationship, without no, understanding sir, no, sir. feelings? No, sir. <laughs> without understanding feeling, cannot be, sir. Yeah, so that's the point, you know, the yes, two points they are written on the left hand side that yes, to live with happiness, we need to understand. Understanding, sir. Without yes, understanding, sir. we cannot live with that fulfillment. Exactly, sir. Exactly. Without understanding, sir, it is impossible, sir. Exactly. So we are in this course, we are going to discuss about understanding and understand the scope of understanding and then we'll go into the details of understanding. Yes, sir. And we are going to focus on understanding human values. Yes, sir. Nice. Now, the next point is that these, what is valuable? Should somebody else tell me what is valuable or should I be able to decide on my own right? Bhaiya, please repeat the question. The question is on the screen. Do you want to be able to decide this value or what is valuable for you on your own right? Or do you want somebody else to decide it for you? On our own, Bhaiya. Exactly. So we want to decide on our own right. And you can ask anybody, you know, they want to decide on their own right or. So let's ask uh, Rupali ji also. Uh, good morning, uh, Bhaiya. Uh, I yeah, want to uh, talk about the previous thing just in two lines uh, about individual and about uh, family we have been taught we have been uh, we are uh, have understanding level you know uh, towards values on these two levels from our childhood till we are young but towards society and nature uh, it is not been inculcated in us so we have little understanding towards society as an individual uh, you know i feel i don't contribute anything any value towards the society so i need more understanding into that area and about the question which you have asked, uh, so I should get, uh, you know, understanding of value on my own. But if I lack in competence, I have less of right understanding, then if education system imparts that into me, then also it is acceptable to me. I mean, I will be uh, taking it from people uh, about the right understanding and value uh, from these uh, people around me. Very true. Right now, if you look at you know the system, by and large, we are only talking about some area which is called work. Yeah. Profession. Mm -hmm. 
when you introduce somebody you say so and so this is a doctor this is a lawyer this and that you know but you hardly talk about the individual about their wisdom you hardly talk about the family you hardly talk about their contribution in the society and yes. hardly anything about yes you know, i mean i remember my the, parents telling me uh, you know that you should follow these values you should be always speaking truth you know you should be loving your siblings so it it limits up to myself and family but i never remember that <laughs> especially to love society and especially to love the nature you know yeah true so wherever you are suppose you are here and you are also uh, somewhere over here let us say so much is your scope you have to go to the whole scope you know yeah yes and education should help us to see that this is the full scope yes isn't it yes yes very much me and today we are by and large focused on this yes nothing else Yes. we are teaching the children how to be this that and the other yes but then when there is a divorce or there is a problem in the family or you know something is yeah. to be taken care of in the colony in the society <laughs> they are and we have lot of prejudices about society and uh, yeah so all that has to be taken care of and that can be done by simply having you know referring to our natural acceptance yes and seeing that this is the scope of our being yes and you know we want to be in harmony so we have to understand this harmony thing yes and that's what this course is about by and large isn't it yes yes okay and over here the question is you want to decide on your own right isn't it you want to decide on your own right and if you are not able to decide this on your own right then somebody else is deciding what is valuable what is not valuable unconsciously you keep accepting those things as values and you get busy with it so if somebody tells you that uh, wearing these stone jeans is a you know nice thing that's the latest fashion you have to be in then you know people go for it and so on so if you look at any level any level are we deciding on our own right or are we influenced and somebody else is deciding where are we so we can find out you know where we are and so let us see um uh, dr shailaja namaste bhaiya namaste namaste um i am in agreement with what uh, uh, we are just discussing that is if someone else is uh, deciding what is valuable for us so we have the chance of getting influence so many a times it so happens that uh even the students if they are not guided properly by us then even they get influenced maybe a uh, uh, lack of competence in understanding the value of human values itself may lead to that so it is very yeah. important that the person who guides should also understand the value of human life uh, human values so that we are also guided properly uh, not being uh, known is not a crime but the thing is that everyone getting educated with human uh, values is very important this is what i feel yeah those are big things you know i think we should stick to the very specific questions and you are right you yes. know if you look at i mean if you look at anything you know what clothes that we wear correct like for example the what we eat fashion industry dictates us what to uh, wear so many times we go and then wear them so whether we like it or not many a times it so happens so we yeah. get influence somewhere what is the content of education and what is the process of education who is deciding this i mean this somebody is deciding somebody else is deciding this and so on somebody else is deciding this also 
isn't it exactly sir so this is where my point comes like who actually decides the content and the process will also makes very important thing yes very true so we have to work on deciding on our own right and we'll see that we have to refer to something which is innate invariant in me so we have to try to do that that we'll come to that but the whole idea about human values or about this uh, course is that we are able to decide things the right things which are fulfilling for me and fulfilling for the other and fulfilling for all on my own okay so these are questions that we can ask that should education help the student to develop the skills how to do something should they be able to uh, <clears throat> use the skills and learn the skills or they should also be taught or help to uh, understand what is to be done what to do so are these things important the values the skills and the skills guided by values are they important so this has been discussed you know many times so i won't go into that and you know we'll we'll uh, go forward i'm just recalling these things and we ask this question the problems around you are more due to lack of skills or more due to lack of values so all these questions you have uh, looked into and then we can ask the students are both values and skills required if both are required then what is the priority and what is the state in the present day education so these kind of questions we can ask uh and be able to place value education rightly in the whole entire gamut of education so does that make sense so let me ask uh, dr atul yes Dr. Atul, Dr. T. Shashi Kala. Uh, there is a lot of disturbance, Dr. Shashi Kala. Yeah, Dr. Bhadiyanath. Dr. Abhinash Mahapatra. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Sir, I have a question. My question is like this: If water is needed to ask for making the thirsty point to go out. then uh, regarding the quality if we can boil water and we can take there is a good quality another point is that if we can filter the water also we can use so why all the peoples are going for the branding different brand of water by uh, spending more money so that is it due to the lack of skill yeah you keep that question and explore that but the point that was we are trying to make is that the value of water with a certain quality is constant it is definite vis-a-vis -vis any other unit for that purpose for example for quenching thirst that that you need only so much of water you know for example for quenching your thirst now you might need half a glass of water of good quality water filtered and this and that you know all that no my, my question is if a half of glass of water will make our thirst then why we will use more money for buying that half half glass of water 
Yeah, because you are not deciding your value yourself. Somebody else is deciding for you, and you are going with it. Somebody is telling you that this alkaline water is better than this and that, and all that. You know that this tap water is useless. You have to filter it, and so many things. You know, so you are going with it, and you. It might be true also, but you are going with somebody else's evaluation. Yes, so you have to see it for yourself. Okay. Okay. So all these questions the students can be asked, and you ask yourself actually. First, you ask yourself, and if it makes sense to you, then you can communicate it uh, better to your students. So are both values and skills required? Certainly, both are required, and these are complementary. These are not opposing to each other. it's not values or skills it is values and skills and if both are required then what is the priority so it is very easy to see when you put it like what to do and how to do so you can easily see that values comes first then skills but both are required and you can find out what is the present day education more focused on and so on whether it is there or not so i'll leave that as something for you to explore okay next comes the basic guidelines this has also been discussed i'm just recalling this the basic guidelines for value education whatever we are discussing in the name of values in the name of value education these five guidelines are uh very important that whatever we discussed it needs to be universal applicable to all human beings in all geographies in all time all that second thing is it must be amenable to logical reasoning it must be rational it should not be based on blind beliefs and so on so all these have been discussed earlier so i won't go into that and we are also running very short on time so um, if there are any specific questions about this let me take one or two questions yeah any new questions i'm going to lower all the hands and um, mr gangaram Dr. Geeta, yes, I will take a reflection also here. Yeah, you can take the reflection. Yeah, whenever it is time for reflection, please go ahead and do that. Because those no, those signs are not there, no sir. I yes, don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Bhaiya, shall I put my query, Bhaiya? Yeah, please go ahead. Bhaiya, while we are taking the demo presentation. yeah i use the term that it is universal the contents of proposals of uh you are universal then we were asked how did you verify it yeah so i am putting the same question here by how to verify it is universal across the world yeah so <clears throat> i would say that don't assume it to be universal you start start with is it applicable to you and you ask people around you you know ask people in your family ask people in your class at least those people are able to see that it is for example if you ask is a feeling of respect naturally acceptable to you don't assume it to be universal don't insist mm. that it is universal mm. i am not insisting it is universal i am not trying to convince you that it is universal mm. but it is important to explore into it and see for ourselves mm. and to the extent that you have asked some people then it is fine that you get some idea about it but what i i mean i found when i ask do you feel hungry to children 
they start laughing you know they said everybody feels hungry <laughs> so the okay. question is that if i know something for sure for myself hmm the other human being is like me and from that i can conclude that you know the other person also uh, you know feels hungry or whatever it is Mm. Right, but I have to know that for sure for myself. Mm. If I don't know it for sure for myself, I can keep doing polls and surveys and this and that. <laughs> that won't give any answer. Mm. Mm. So I have to know. That is why this exploring within is so important. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Baya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so people are able to see that they are able to decide on their own right every time. Some twenty-five percent people are able to see that. So that's, that's nice. So it would be nice if everybody can do that. And we have to keep exploring. We have to understand so that we are able to decide on our own right. If we don't understand, we assume, then we are not sure. Okay. then as far as the content of value education is concerned it has to be holistic all encompassing and what that means is that it covers all the levels of living as an individual as a family society nature and all that and you can ask this question as a family or as a society we want fearlessness trust or we want mistrust opposition also so like that you know we can ask whether it covers all the aspects all the levels of living and also this holistic and all encompassing would also mean that as a human being it covers uh, me as a full individual my understanding or realization my thought my behavior and so on so if you look at an individual as a human being you have all these dimensions you know you have four dimensions of course you can see your behavior and work and all that outside but you have a dimension of thought have a dimension of imagination and you also have a dimension of understanding your natural acceptance and so on so all these dimensions are important as a human so when you are talking about all encompassing it has to cover the whole human being as well as the living of that human being outside so this is all within the human being except for the work and participation and all that and what is the interaction with uh, the family with the society with the nature and existence so the content of value education has to be holistic and all encompassing and the process it should be something which uh, is amenable to logical reasoning people can ask questions it should not be based on beliefs which are unverified should be able to student should be able to question those things should be able to discuss them should be able to verify it on one's own right Right. so the process has to be one of uh, self verification or or self exploration and we have discussed this process of uh, self exploration number of times so i won't uh, go into it but if there are any important questions over here we can take uh, one or two questions yes Yes, Professor Nirmala. Uh -huh. Mrs. G. Nirmala.
प्रोफेसर नचिकेता कुमारी खमारी सॉरी प्रोफेसर यस राजुल जी एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट वी विल बी एबल टू डिसाइड ऑन आवर ओन राइट प्रोवाइडेड द इंडिविजुअल वैल्यू विल नॉट बी इन कंफ्लिक विथ माई वैल्यू इन फैमिली माई वैल्यू इन सोसाइटी एंड माई वैल्यू इन एग्जिस्टेंस सो दैट इज एन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन दैट वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड that yes. Uh, yes that is what i just want to supplement it's a very important point uh, professor what you have made it's a really important point because uh, <clears throat> if there is something which is valuable for me and not valuable for something else then is it value comes to that question so we have brought up a very very important point thank you for bringing it up thank you sir thank you yeah. because there is a feeling that you know if i work in the society i won't be able to take care of my family and things like that you know so there are all these uh, th things that if i am working here then i won't be able to do that and so on so we are exploring something which is of value all around and we are exploring through this process of you know self verification we'll come to this process in the next uh, next lecture but right now uh, if there are any questions about the process which we have been following in the you know uh, previous workshops also okay dr vaishali नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते माय क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग वन सेंटेंस इज देयर योर पार्टिसिपेशन इन फैमिली डिफाइंस योर वैल्यू इन द फैमिली या या सो दैट पार्टिसिपेशन शुड बी ऑफ क्वालिटी नो Yeah, that of course. I mean, for that quality. participation, that participation, as an example, we took the the uh, you know feeling of relationship in the family, for example. So, if you have a feeling of relationship, it is of value. If you have a feeling of opposition, it is not of value. Okay, this uh, participation it? comes after only uh, understanding the relation and uh, feeling about the relations. right feeling about the relation any value anything that is of value what we are okay. saying is that we have to uh, make effort to understand understand and therefore be able to fulfill that value and then be able to fulfill rather without understanding we may assume something which may or may not be valuable so for example we may assume that if somebody has said something uh, which is hurting for me that i should take revenge okay. and we keep doing that isn't it okay because always uh, if you find that he there is a participation in family but that will not get value or respect yeah so we have made all these kind of assumptions so we have to find out whether you know this taking revenge or trying to get respect these are valuable or having the right feeling in myself is of value so we'll keep exploring that you know <laughs> we'll keep yeah, exploring yeah. that we have certainly done this in the introductory workshop but we'll yeah. Continue i know to i understand that. but just uh, because i am observing that number of times participation is there but that is not getting value that's why i am asking this yeah you are you are not getting recognized you are not getting acknowledged that may be the case is that what is happening yes yes yeah so you are you are looking in the wrong place for the uh, value then you know instead of ensuring the value within yourself you are expecting it from others 
no that is not expect my expectation i am i am observing in some other uh, relations uh, that's okay but you are observing is it uh, making you unhappy when you are observing this yeah yes or no yeah yeah so that is the problem you know that if somebody is somebody <laughs> now, is now confused I um, now go, i got yeah. it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay nice thank you yeah so in this course we'll explore all these things you know, who am i what is my purpose what is my role what is my value at all these levels you know whatever we have talked about okay so we'll we'll be talking about all these things and if we are able to find out then we will be able to answer a very important question number 1 that question is what is human conduct what is it to be human what is my purpose so i'll be able to answer that kind of question and slowly i'll be able to you know work on it so to sum up we have talked about four things we have talked about the need for value education we have talked about the basic guidelines the content of value education and the process of value education so the need of value education is to live with fulfillment with fulfillment with happiness with continuous happiness it is essential to understand what is valuable for human being and to understand these human values understand human conduct we need value education so that is the need for value education as far as the guidelines are concerned we had discussed these five guidelines as far as the content of value education is concerned it has to be all encompassing and holistic so all encompassing anything that has to do with my happiness and unhappiness i have to cover that and the process of value education is self exploration so we had discussed all these points so now we have maybe two or three minutes left so if there are any important questions uh, at this point we'll take those and and then we'll stop we'll have a short break i was supposed to cover one more lecture so i will cover it in the fourth session now yeah any questions at this point yes mr uh, uh, rabindra rao uh, namaste yeah. sir namaste, namaste sir it's a very good session sir uh just uh, what uh, it's not a question that you know, what you know, we observed you know, as uh, the first thing to understand the, the value of human being uh, what is my participation and uh, the, the role of human being uh, so that we will be able to live uh, myself as well as to live with the others that is the base the feelings we started with this and initiated this this feeling with great uh, exploration with your discussion sir uh, so this this, uh, this is an important point uh, i mean the raut ji that <laughs> if we understand what is human value and we live with that human value regardless of your other person is living or not uh, yes sir self is central central to uh, as the, the the previous slide uh, as a human being or in family in society or nature everywhere we start with ourselves so first of all we are looking within ourselves so that we will be think about others so that is the basic uh, the initiation of this uh, the proposal is to initiate this uh to look at the inner uh, self of the human being so so this is the the basic thing we are starting yeah so um, if i understand human values and i live with that human value then it leads to my own happiness this yes. is a very important conclusion what you are uh, bringing up is a very important point uh, so, so if i understand uh, any value and i live with that, that value 
or I understand a particular human value and I live with that human value, it leads to my happiness. And when I share that value with others, it leads to their happiness also. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, it's a nice proposal. The, 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 uh, you started with the example of water. Just I was thinking about the water and water only, not thinking about the quality of water, the, 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 the place and uh, the situation or the, the uh, it is only what is my, the, uh, my role with the water, with the existence and uh, is it fulfilling each, other, uh, each one of us or not? So that is the basic, uh, you give them a very simple example uh, with water, uh, with the discussion. Uh, it's a direct uh, observation. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. So we'll stop over here. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you in the evening at uh, uh, in the on the in the fourth session. We will cover uh, the remaining lecture lecture number two uh, during that session. <laughs>